I'm feeling um, nervous. Slightly excited, mostly nervous. A little nervous. I'm actually a lot of nervous. <laughs> I feel a little anxious, um, excited, nervous, <laughs> really nervous. Uh, I feel very anxious. Nervous. Um, I'm actually nervous. I'm really excited. Um, I have a little bit of fear, but like those are all good things. I'm in the right place. Come on, sister. Let's go. Get off your knees, Debbie. Come on. Push. When things get hard in your life, just like they are right now, are you going to quit or are you going to keep moving? Stop waiting. In a matter of days, hell, it could be this week. If you knew that you would be six feet in the ground and that there is no like, well, in five years, you better start playing your life right now. There's no tomorrow, there's just now. Open, open to possibility. Open to a way that your life could look that you can't even see. Open to a relationship with your spouse, your husband, your wife, your children. I will be all in 100% for the first time in my life. I promise to be honest and true to myself and to you guys. So I'm all in. This is our safe place and I promise I promise to tell you my truth. And I will never, ever give up. This was a godsend for me to be here. So I'm all in. And I'm committed to each and every one of you. And I don't even know how it's going to look. You're not going to be able to do it. If you tell yourself you can't do it, of course you won't be able to do it. Why don't you focus on something different? Why don't you tell yourself a different story? I can't do it. Of course you can't do it if you say you can't do it. How about you tell yourself you can do it? Do it. I'm fighting for my family. It. I can do it. I'm fighting for why I'm here. We learned something about ourselves tonight. It's one thing to say that I'm all in in the classroom. It's one thing to say I'll never give up in the classroom. It's another thing to get in the situation where you actually have to be faced with the temptation to give up. I've had to admit that sometimes I am not all in. And sometimes I disappoint my family. And I can't do that. I need to step it up. I need to level up. And this program is teaching me to level up. I need to level up as a mom, and I need to level up as a wife. You learning something about yourself tonight? Yes. yes. You can do way more than you think you can. The moment you stop feeling sorry for yourself and take responsibility for your life and stop dragging stories into the present is the moment you have freedom. Shield Maiden, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step and you took that step when you made a decision to come to Southern California in the very first evening on the beach with the sandbags some of you began to complain you were angry some of you had self-talk that said I can't do this anymore it's too hard because you have failed to push yourself to levels that you have never seen before so you become complacent some of you extremely successful, some of you not as successful, and yet most of you in the first night began to realize the significance of urgency. In that first evening, a lot of you said, this is too hard, I can't do this. Some of you expressed those in your thoughts, angry, upset, going through these challenges that would begin to test every part of who you are. It's like, ah, oh, I got this, it's like a, physical training, um, but what I didn't know was that I would dig into my soul um, and find out things about myself that I had closed up. On the beach in the morning, some of you began to realize and recognize and remember who you really are. You began to discover that you're stronger as you began to run and carry these bags which represented the stories that have held you back. 
in and out of the water. Water in your face, water on your body, sand all over you, representing the stories that you have held for so long. Some of you found another gear. You begin to drop those stories quickly and to say, I can do more than I think I can. I will forever be ingrained with the knowledge that I don't have to carry around stories. I don't have to put up masks and filters. That I can have the confidence and that I deserve the freedom and the joy to let that go. While running, while working as a team, while being together, some of you felt judged and you felt alone because you were trying to step up and you were trying to lead. Being all in and understanding what that means and not being afraid to show up for myself. You know, I'm tall and people place on me a stature that I don't necessarily own. And I feel like I can own my own power, that I am strong, and it's okay for me to get help. Even if it's been a day and a half, I already feel so much growth in my mind because I hold so much in here that I need to let out, that I need to express. And it's just, it's, I feel even just this last day and a half, even talking to my husband, and he, he I, I, I sense, I sense the other side with him. Where he's so glad that I'm here. You put others before you. You've served everyone else, family, marriage, children, community, and yet you have forgotten you in a way that has had you become complacent. I came telling myself a whole bunch of stories and just hoping I'd be able to make it, but with my sisters uplifting me and helping me and me digging deep down inside to, to do what I thought was impossible, I was able to make it possible. The weight of the world on your shoulders, and up and down you begin to go into this low gear. Can I do this? Can I really make it up and down? Will there be a finish line? And one foot in front of the other, you begin to remember how great that you truly are. A new story began to come in as you started to say things like, I am powerful. I can do this. I got this. You begin to phrase these things inside of your mind and your heart that begin to give you power the team bag, the individual bag, up and down the hill with no end in sight and a commitment to live in the way that would have you say there is no finish line. Some of you had a recognition and this realization that life is so short and that why would I continue to put off till someday when instead I could do that today? That no more would you procrastinate, no more would you wait and no longer would you let the stories hold you back? Some of you have now seen that you truly are a powerful goddess, a queen, a leader who could lead next to your spouse, who could lead next to your husband, who could be a beacon of light for your children, and for your children's children. And that you would not go to the grave with your song still in you, but you would go to your grave empty, having left it all out here in this thing called life. Welcome to the game of Shield Maiden Sisters, a game that is not in three or four days or three or four weeks, a game that is for the rest of your life. This has been one of the most amazing, amazing experiences for me. For so many years, I have been just, I just haven't been open to the possibilities. And what I've learned this whole week, you know, the three and a half days has changed what's here. Tema, you have a very special place in my heart. You've been part of my family's journey for a really long time. Not many people have the courage to stand in alignment the way you do. Just bold and true and full of love. It has touched my soul. Thank you so much for changing my life. You have 
helped me transform into the woman that I, I knew was in there. I just couldn't find her. And you guys helped me find her. And I am so excited to go home and to share what I've learned and to live this life. It has absolutely changed my life. I, I found myself again. I didn't know anybody like you guys existed. I didn't know that there were people in the world who gave like you do. So I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I feel like for the first time in three years that, uh, you know, my mind is clear and that I'm starting to rebuild my life again. Thank you to Coach Nate, Coach Atema, for helping us change our lives so that we can be who we are. There was a part of me that didn't really believe that this was um, as great as they said it was. I knew that it was changing lives, but I was like, ah, that's not for me. Um, and I'm so grateful I came through because now I understand that this really is holy work and this really is changing lives and it changed mine. And thank you, Satemba, for creating and listening to God and putting this work to to the pavement, you know, and for believing in yourself and creating yourself so powerful. And I will be ever so grateful for my inner stance, <laughs> my powerful inner stance, because now I found that and I'm so happy to have it. So thanks, you guys. And remember, we got to live up to our level 10 life. We have to. Look at each other and repeat after me. I promise. I promise. To be my word. To be my word. To create powerfully. To create powerfully. To create results. To create results. Look at each other right now. Repeat after me. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise.